Okay, let's get started on our Jazz and Romare Bearden inspired collages. I have a ton of stuff on the table. I have markers, I have some watercolor paints, some water and a paintbrush for my paints. I have some crayons, color pencils, glue, and scissors. You can choose to, oh, and I have tons of scrap paper. I found these pieces of paper that I ripped up and I can use those. And then I have um, a piece of paper I'm gonna use for my background and another paper in case I wanna draw on. So you can use all or some of these things. You're definitely gonna need some glue to make a collage because we're gonna be ripping and gluing pieces together and you're gonna need something to write with. So if you don't have paint, that's okay. The two things we're gonna focus on today are jazz. So we heard a bit of jazz music. We heard about some jazz musicians. And the biggest thing about jazz is that it's improv improvisational. So what that means is you make it up as you go. So we're gonna make up our collage as we go and we can add anything we want. Romare Bearden is the other thing we're going to focus on um, and his artwork was collage based, the artwork that we're gonna focus on. It portrays jazz, which means you can see jazz being played in his artwork. And then um, I just also added instruments. So I want you to choose at least one instrument to add into your artwork today. And that can be any instrument that you can find on the PowerPoint. I put some clips uh, or some pictures of different instruments or I will make an instrument, you can copy mine, or you can make up your own instrument. Improv, right? Okay, so if you do choose to use paint, I am first gonna show you what I'm gonna do with the paint. Um, if you are choosing to use paint, um, I'm using watercolor paint, which means I just need my paintbrush and water. If you're using different paint, that's up to you. All I'm gonna do is think about, oh, I definitely am going to need um, some different colors for maybe a brick wall in the background of my drawing. And remember, if you don't have, um, if you don't have paints, you can just use your crayons or colored paper and you can draw on top of the colored paper. I'll show you how to do that as well. But I'm just going to paint a big section. It doesn't matter if it's perfect. Remember, we're making it up as we go. All that matters is there's some color on there because we are going to be ripping up these pieces. So I know I am going to need some reddish brown color, maybe some orange in there. I'm cleaning out my brush when I'm done using it, just tapping it at the bottom. I'm gonna get some orange. Wake, wake, wake up. Being gentle with my paints. I'm not splashing paint everywhere. If you have paint, make sure you're taking care of your paints. I'm gonna add some orange to this brick. Eventually it will be brick, it's not yet. <laughs> All right, and I'm gonna add some brown. All right, now that's starting to look like the color of brick. Cool. Okay, so I'm gonna use some of that. I'm gonna let that dry. And next, I you can choose to make your musician however you want. I'm gonna make a musician with brown skin, so I'm going to make an area of brown, so that way I can color my face on top once it dries. And let me think, what else might I want in my painting? I might want, I'm just gonna make a little more beautiful. Um, maybe I want, hmm, maybe I wanted a window or something in the background to add into my drawing. Or, no, wait, I know. I think I'm going to make a saxophone as my instrument. So what I'm going to need is some yellow, orangey, kind of a gold-looking instrument here. Doesn't need to be perfect. Remember, we're going to rip these pages up, so... Just if you have enough to add. Okay, again, if you don't have paints, you can be drawing along with me, adding color with marker, crayon, um, anything you want. I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of orange. 
cool. All right. So that's going to be my saxophone. Okay. I think I'm good with the paints until this dries. I'm going to want to add some more. Now I'm going to actually get out my paper that I'm going to create my artwork on. So I think I'm going to have my paper go this way. And in the background, I'm going to want to sew a floor, maybe a floor at the bottom and a wall in the back. So you want to think, before you think about your musician and your instrument, you want to think about what is the background going to look like? Because what we're going to do is rip pieces of paper to make a collage. You have to rip pieces of paper and you glue them different. So let me just rip some of these up and show you what I mean. We're going to rip, glue, rip, glue. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my glue out. I'm going to make sure it's not up too high. If it's up too high and you try and use the glue, it'll smash down. You just want to have it up a little bit. And usually we put the glue on the piece first because we don't want to get the paper all messy. But because we're going to cover the whole background, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue where I know I have my pieces ready. If you don't have your pieces ready, your glue is going to dry before you can put them down. I have enough pieces. And I'm just going to start making the floor to my jazz music hall or whatever it is. So there is the first part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up the background with different pieces. I might even use some of this paper to draw some brick on here and add it to the background. And as I'm doing this, I want you guys to do the same thing. I'm going to go into super speed and I'm going to fill up a floor and a background. Okay, now that I finished the background, it's a little bit sticky. Um, just keep in mind that you wanted to rip the pieces, not super small, but different size pieces. I had my brick painted pieces up here. I added a window. Um, I added just another background and then this will be my floor. Um, I only added this inside piece because I ran out of my other paper. But remember, we are improv so. I like what I have so far, and now it's time to get started on my musician. So I'm going to make my musician here, and then remember, as we saw in the artwork of Romare Bruden and um, the pictures of the jazz musicians, they're always wearing something nice. So whether it be a dress or a suit or a nice vest or a hat, whatever you wanted on your musician, you could make. Um, I'm going to get started on that now. So gonna actually start with the saxophone because this is a little bit more dry. So what I'm gonna do is just make a really simple shape. I know that a saxophone is kind of shaped like this. If you are feeling nervous about drawing these without a picture, you can always um, look on the PowerPoint where I've added some pictures and I know that there's gonna be different valves. This might have an opening here. And this is where you kind of get to add some drawing in. And some different stuff. Okay, now I'm just gonna cut it out. So my musician will be holding this instrument, the saxophone. You might wanna think about what your musician's gonna be holding before you draw your mus musician because if they're playing the piano, they might be sitting down, or if they're singing, they might have their hand up holding something. I'll have to think about where my musician's hands are because they're gonna be holding this instrument. So my instrument will probably go right there. My musician will stand right here. 
I still need a little bit more time for this to dry. So I'm going to actually get started on, I think I'm going to make a man and I'm going to give him a, what color suit? Let's do a, I think we'll do green. I'm going to do a green suit. So I'm going to make some pants. I'm just going to cut a big rectangle. Maybe I'll add a little bend in his knee. And just to make the pants, I'm going to have them go in a little bit at the knee and the waist. This leg he'll just be standing on. And this leg he's going to, it's going to be bending out just a little bit. So there are some pants. They might be too big. <laughs> Maybe I'll cut them just a little bit. Maybe I'll shorten his legs. All right, so there's my musician's pants. I can make them fancier later, but I think for right now, I'm just gonna glue it on because I like the way it looks and I like where he's standing. And maybe, let's see. Maybe I'll think about his shoes. All right, actually, I think I'm going to do a vest next. So I need a vest that looks kind of like this. And remember, these are not supposed to be perfect. So if you're like, Miss Armstrong, those pants don't look great. Well, that's all right, I tried my best. So there's gonna be the vest. And I'm not gonna glue the vest on yet because He's also going to have a shirt on. And I think I'm going to do a bow tie. So there, and I'm going to put some buttons on that vest. Let's see. I actually need some white paper. I'm going to use the back of this. All right. So, just make sure. There we go. So behind my vest, I need an arm, maybe an arm going this way, holding the saxophone. So I'm gonna need, he's in a shirt. And it's holding something like this. And then I'll make sure to make his hand. Let's see how that looks. Mm, not long enough. Let me try again. So the arm is here. Let's try that. So if that's his arm, playing an instrument like that. Okay, I'm just gonna make it a little smaller. All right, and then the other arm will come from this side. Maybe this piece that I cut for that arm will work here. It will, kind of. Let's cut it a little bit. All right, so I can glue these arms on. Just gonna put a little bit of glue. Remember, we are making our artwork kind of like jazz music, which is improvisational. So it's not going to look, it, well, it's not gonna look perfect. We're just making it up as we go. You could make the whole thing and then be like, wow, I really don't like this. That is okay. We're just going to try our best to get a jazz musician and an instrument. Okay, and now I need to make the collared shirt. So let's see. Make sure you're being careful with your scissors. Wow, this is even trickier than I thought.
That's not too bad. So that'll be a nice button up shirt. I'll probably have to draw that on and then I'll need a bow tie. So maybe I'll put the collar in front. And I'll rip off all this extra paper. Not too bad. Get it glued on. You can see I used extra pieces of watercolor paper painted on. All right, I'm gonna glue this on. Just add a little bit of glue to the back. And then I'm gonna see if my paper is dry and I can make the head of my musician. I still wanna put a bow tie. I'd probably make it green to match the pants. Let's do that now. Mm. Okay, so my collage is looking good. Got lots of different pieces of paper. I'm making a big mess, so you'll probably make a big mess too. That's okay. All right, and now I'm going to look at my musician's head and face. So first of all, their neck is right here, so I'm just going to cut a little bit of where their neck is going to go. And that's a good trick. So if you cut the neck, then you know, oh, I'm gonna put their neck right here in the drawing or right next to the bow tie. And that way I can take a guess of where the head can go. And I'm also gonna leave my instrument right in the hands of my musician. So that way I know where he's going to be playing it from. So his mouth will go right there where that that will be so I'm gonna make his mouth right there and let's see I'm just gonna go really simple I'm gonna start where the mouth was and I checked that by putting the neck here and putting the instrument where he's gonna hold it and that way I know that that will match up with the arms that I made and then the top of the head you can make it really funny if you wanted to. You can make your musician have a really big head or if you wanted to keep it simple. You can just keep a nice regular size head. All right, we got his head size. Now I'm just gonna add some eyes in. Nose. Paper is still a little bit wet, so it's hard to see all these details, but it should get a little bit better as it dries. Maybe I'll add some ears. Ears are a little too low. They should be right by the eyes. All right, not bad. Whoops, it got stuck to my paper. That's all right. Okay, I'm gonna cut out his head and I think gonna be bald because I don't really want to make a hat. <laughs> Maybe I'll give him a little bit of hair. Now a little curly hair up top, some nice hair on the side. I'm going to cut this out. And I'm going to add it to the body. So the last thing I'm going to glue on and the last thing you're going to glue on is that um, instrument because that will probably go on top of where your musician is singing or playing and you want to make sure it fits there. So now I have to make sure my musician's neck fits perfectly. Perfect, I love it. Let's make sure it still matches up. There we go. So I'm just gonna put a little glue. Glue his head down. A 
Okay, my bow tie came off. Let's try and glue that back down. Everything is very sticky in a collage. Oops. Maybe I'll scoot the head up a little bit. His neck is just a little too long. Okay, put that bow tie on. Perfect, wow, he looks fancy. All right, and next, I need to glue on my instrument, but he's missing some hands. So I'm actually gonna use the same paper I cut for his, the skin on his face for his hands. I'm just going to do some make-believe fingers. They don't need to be perfect. Let's see if it looks like he's holding. All right. And I'll make the other fingers a little more realistic. For these that are in the background, I'm just gonna do simple ones. And then the fingers on top. Is going to be really tricky so if you needed to just make kind of like a mitten for hands that's okay if you wanted to try and hide the hands that's okay all right glue down the thumb, or excuse me, the hand. It's going to go right here. And finally, I'm gluing down the saxophone. All right. So now I have, oops, he doesn't have shoes on yet, but I can add, I'm gonna add those final details in super speed so you don't have to watch me cut and glue all those. But the most important things we wanted to have, we wanted to make sure that we were making it up as we went to be inspired by jazz music and Romare Bearden's um, idea of the collage, which means we're ripping up pieces of paper and gluing them together. It's portraying jazz. So you see jazz in my picture and there's at least one instrument. So just make sure you have those three things and then you can add whatever you want. I'm gonna add some music notes coming out up here. We talked about that. Um, I might add some shoes. Maybe I'll add a microphone stand or something in the background. Uh, you can feel free to add whatever you'd like. Here I go into super speed and then I'll come back. Okay, so this is my final artwork inspired by jazz and Romare Bearden. I added some music notes coming out of my saxophone. I added some buttons on his vest, some shoes, and a little chair in case he wants to sit down. Um, for our Black History Month project, we were talking about jazz music and we got to hear some jazz music and listen to jazz and hear about why it's so important. We learned about an artist named Romare Bearden, and we used some of his collages to inspire us to create our own collages. And a collage is when you rip up pieces of paper and you put them together to make a picture. You wanna make sure that your collage portrays jazz, which means that it shows jazz and has at least one instrument. It could have more. You could create a whole band if you wanted to. So I hope you guys had a ton of fun creating this artwork. I really had a ton of fun. I am covered in glue. You guys probably are too. And there's just a ton of mess over here, but that is okay as long as we had fun. So remember, I can't wait to see what these look like. So please remember to take a picture of your artwork and upload it to Google Classroom. I hope you guys had a great time and I'll see you next time.